to start out, we will look at the driver changes. At the moment, the driver changes are at Dams, where Sean Glale is back in and Eurovips is out. This is unsurprising, but the real surprise comes at HWA, which is that JQ's Formula 2 career has been cut untimely short after Theo Paul Chair decided that he needed to get into HWA, or to be more precise, his funders. So it looks like what happened with JQ's was a bit of what I would like to call the Formula 3 breaking round when Ben Barnico was put in because they didn't have the funding. So now on to the next segment. Now on to the circuit. The circuit is a very, very intensive on the tyres. You thought that Hungary was insane with the tyre strategy. Well, you haven't seen anything yet. yet. Bahrain is very tough on the tyres. High speed circuit. That is why it was very famous when Charles Leclerc, the Charles Leclerc orator of F1, won here in back in 2017 while only using one stop instead of the zero stop as people normally do. So the circuit's very hard on tyres. If only there was a driver who was good on tyres. Artem Markov, he is very good on tyres, or at least he used to be before the new tyre regulations. He is also expected to go well here, as he was on form in Austria before his engine was very unkind and went kaboomy. So, now on to the predictions. My predictions are all over the place this week, as... Well, it's been quite a while and I need to get my stuff together. I mean, very unprofessional. But starting my, off with pole position, Callum Milo, he's been pretty fast on one lap pace during qualifying. I reckon he can pull it off. Winner, Robert Swartzman, he's got the pace, he's good enough. And Felipe Dragovic, he had a lot of format in Austria and I think he'll recapture that form. Fastest lap. Nikita Mazepin and Guanghu Zhou, they've been pretty quick and Guanghu Zhou got a podium last year. Most unlucky driver, Theo Paul Chair. I mean, you could say that he could get lucky, but no, he's clearly going to get unlucky. Big up, biggest upswing, well, that's Artie Michael and Juliana Lazy. They haven't been really there this season, but I reckon they'll do good. Surprise podium, well that's clearly going to be Jay and over. I mean, you'd think he wasn't even in the sports, he's been absolutely nowhere. And most dangerous driver, well that can only be one driver. Yuki Tsunoda, very un- da- unsafe, dangerous, I mean I'm not sure words of his danger, very unsafe. Although if he does replace Daniel Kivyat next year. Well, then we can say that the torpedo got replaced by the torpedo junior, and that is all.